Hey guys, welcome back to another AFK Arena video. Um, well, from my previous video, I know I made a giveaway uh, event for this account. However, I'm not too sure whether that was actually legal. Um, why I did it was because, I mean, if I just gave the account away, uh, no one needs to know, no one needs to care. Uh, you do not know the the details of my account. You do not know the details of my transaction. I lose, I lose. Like I just let go of it entirely. So uh, <laughs> it wouldn't really concern me. Um, rather, the person who received the account would have to be more careful of how he how he sort of like behaves with the account. Uh, yeah, but with that aside. My account is still up for grabs. I, I've been playing with it for a bit, but uh, I actually bought the the monthly subscription pack. So yeah, if you do win this account, you do get that monthly subscription as well for free six 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 fifty for my currency, which is about five bucks for US dollars. Okay, so today I'll be talking a bit about Arcane Labyrinth. This is the third Arcane Labyrinth that I'm doing, and I finally reset it. So let's get right into it. So what? I meant in my previous video is that you know you would want to uh, engage as much as possible from the start from the get go just engage but if you do not need I, I mean not not that you do not need but if you need more heroes then uh, do feel free to open up the abandoned wagon uh, but sometimes I, I will skip abandoned wagons just because fighting is more rewarding <laughs> so but for now since I'm at the right at the beginning I'm just gonna open some of these Wagons and hopefully, okay. Golas is good. Yeah, hopefully I just get like a a bunch of reliable tanks and DPSs. I I need tanks that can really soak a lot of damage. Uh, and all at the same time do a bit of damage. So now I'm really thinking. Um, I have like. A roster as uh, already. Let's see. I have easily ten characters to play. So do I need this abandoned wagon? Um, if I do it, I will lose out on about three k uh, mana. I know I call this mana and hundred and fifteen tokens. I think I'll I'll start the fight. Yeah, because the the enemies are just gonna get progressively progressively harder, and I currently do not even have any relics. So that's one thing to note off. Um, let's see. No. Yay. Okay, let's go. Uh, typically, you do not want to use the auto because you want to. Uh, conserve your energy until you reach a point where you can comfortably keep autoing because like you may pick up some relics that replenish your uh, your what do you call that your, your your energy meter quite regularly so you want to look out for the for for those kind of relics uh, yeah So like the first few fights are more for like, you know, they just want to give it to you, make it an easy win. So you're going to want to grab all these tokens while you're at it. Accuracy creating, frontline heroes defense, energy, uh, backline heroes, yeah, not typically, typically good, but I'll go to defense rating. Defense over offense, guys. Okay, I'll skip this health this vitality thing and he said I will fight yeah as you can see I use my Namora as a tank but her health pool is really absolutely insane she has 30,000 HP uh, don't be fooled just because she's like a support class like a healer or like you know those weak healers but her heals ba are based on her max HP she has two heals that are based off her max HP 
deals more damage, life leech, resource weakness, teammates HP by 20% after 15 seconds of battle. Uh, life leech. You just want to get like the, the most. Okay, okay, look. So comparing 47k and 37k, right? I mean, it makes a lot more sense to to do the 37k here because it's like it's firstly it's 10k less, and if you compare the rewards, this is the 37k, 2.7, 18, 130, and this is the other one, two. The other one was 2.7, 1830, right? So you're only gonna get like uh 700 more mana. It's it's really not gonna matter at my current stage. So I just play the safe route and go for the much easier target <laughs> yeah so the, the main takeaway from this is of course the labyrinth token whoa 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 um defense rating for every win this is quite good the, the last one Factional damage may not be that good because it's like there is only a 25% chance that you actually encounter a situation where you can make full use of your factional damage. All heroes energy rate plus 20% when injured. Okay, this is this is really extremely good, but I think I will go with the shield of fortitude because I still have a lot of more fights down the road. Do I need to heal? I do not need to heal, I will just fight 50k, let's do it. Uh, let me think. Um, I really do not like Thoran. He is... He's like the guy that soaks all the hits and then dishes out the punishment. Yeah, you see that? You see that? He's gonna like go ape shit right now. Oh, that wasn't so bad. You know the Pokemon of attack called uh, Bite, B I D E. Yeah, that's what he does. Geodude's favorite move is it Geodude? I believe it's Geodude. I'm not too sure. Oh, Machop, right? It's Machop. Hogan reduces the damage that Hogan receives by 80%. Wow, nice. Oh. When the damage is less than 6%, ah, oh, stupid. Nice! Alright, Light Bearer's defense rating plus 20%, that's good. Health regen by 80%. Now I'll go with the middle one. <laughs> okay, so do I need a new hero? Uh, technically I do not need one, so I'll just fight. However, if I fight, I'll be going, going to the mystic path. So that's one thing I need to take note of. So if I fight, I cannot heal myself, but I do not think I need to heal because I have Nimora. Uh, all good, I think. Um, I can do without. I think her name is Kaz. I'm not exactly very sure. You are either brave or stupid to face me. Um, I need some strong hitter to get rid of their backline. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna kill this fox. He's a. He's a. He's a real pain. <laughs> you see, pox. Eh, pox. Pox can completely nullify one of my characters for eight whole seconds just by imprisoning me. Um, he's, he's really extremely good. He's extremely strong in the arena. Whenever I see him, I do not I do not fight him. I, I'd rather not fight him. Okay, the Eagle Strike I tried before, it really sucks. Do not get it. It's, it's ridiculous. It's lousy. Uh, but the middle one is like... Ew, I'm not gonna die. I'll crit rating. I'll, I'll get crit rating. Abandon. No deaths. Um. Okay, I would need. It's time to join your friends in the underworld. Yes.
Yeah, Demora is really good, guys. Oh, uh, wow, nice. Um, intelligence based heroes deals damage. I do not use mages. Uh, reduces grief but no. Mauler's hero attack ratings by 30% attack. Nice! Very good for my Servius. Okay. Uh, do I need to heal? No, I do not. Then I will choose to fight. So, um, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, that's really much Labyrinth. You should really pick your fights properly. Uh, and in fact, you should be more aggressive than you think you are. Uh, like for me, I've already skipped two wagons, I've skipped a bunch of fountains. Don't take the easy way out, just fight, just fight, just fight. And you will get all your Labyrinth tokens this way. And it's very important, you get about 15, I believe it's about 15 uh, Labyrinth entries a month. So within that 15, you need to hit 45,000 in order to get one of those uh, elite heroes in the shop, which is here. Okay, for me, I... I decided to just purchase all this instead of going for the elites because I do not need any of the elites at the moment so I do not mind just throwing away currency like that uh, but do not do that I think for most players you should focus on getting Namora if you do not have her she's a real uh, key player in Labyrinth and Picks of Time as well Picks of Time plays a bit like Labyrinth but it's like the story mode of the game <laughs> Uh, or Shamira. Shamira is really good. Uh, at my current stage, she's really, really insane. She's she's like a standalone. she's like one of those characters where you know you can just keep her in the party, and she would do what she needs to do. She would and she would really do her job very well. Uh, Shamira, Nomura, these two really really good. If not, uh, Kasos is fine. Kasos is actually quite good as well. He boosts his teams. Uh, or is it life leech? Ah, uh, life leech. He boosts his team's life leech, so everyone gets a bit of life steal. Very good to pair up with Sevias. Very good to pair up with uh, maybe characters like Brutus, obviously, or Ware. All right. So, wandering trade. Um, should you go for it, or should you go with the Fountain of Vitality? Let's say your, your heroes are low on health. Um, it's not that quite. Uh, for new players, if you are new, or if this is like your first or second. Labyrinth, I would suggest you to not go for the Wandering Trade, instead go, just go for the, the Fountain of Vitality. Uh, wandering Trade is meant for players who have currency, have premium currency, but do not wish to spend them on summons like me. I think I'm, I'm pretty much done with summons. So yes, stuff like this, this is extremely helpful for me. Uh, so you can see like it's gonna improve my it's gonna improve my overall gameplay outside of Labyrinth, which is quite a nice. In fact I do I do spend some diamonds on items like this uh in the store. So every day I'll check. I usually buy the purples. For blues, mm, as you can see I I don't really have a lot of need for it. Hogan is like the only character the last character that I have on my lineup. But does he need a blue helmet? I am not sure. But this for 60, I think it's a it's a very cheap offer. So I'll buy it. Alright. Ah uh, yes, so when do you know when to uh, start spamming your skills? That's when you get this. Silent Hope, it's this golden crystal at the top. Your, so whenever you cast a skill, you recover 700 energy over time. I believe 1000 energy is the cap to start casting skills. So whenever you cast an out, you already build back 70% of it. So very very useful, you can start spamming your skills from the start. And also, this call to arms is the horn at the bottom. You see where the examine is being pressed. Yeah, at the beginning of the battle, your site immediately re replenishes 120 energy so like if your runs run too fast and then like oh no you don't have maxed out energy for the next fight this is gonna be useful as well uh there are some other some other relics but if i do encounter them i will show you okay so what do i mean by spamming well obviously just boom 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 uh 
save your heal for when you really need it so that's like the only thing that you do not really want to spam <laughs> like I think that was a good kind of heal also sometimes you know the enemy do have Belinda and you really have to take note of when the Belinda is going to cast her out Belinda is that light uh, mage looking character she's like really magey looking heal 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 so yeah, when she's gonna cast her out, uh, press your Lucius. So I found a bunch of other relics that are quite useful. See the two claws at the end? All heroes' energy recovery rate plus 20% when injured, so when they get hit by people, uh, their energy bar actually pushes further. And then another one, 40%, so total 60%, they both stack. And I am almost at the end. Let's go, do I need another hero? No, I do not. Let's fight instead. Alright, this is gonna be a challenge. And we are finally here. Um third well no 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 137,000 power. Uh still underneath my team, so I'm at like 160k. Uh the reason why I'm at 160k is because of the relics, guys. The relics! I cannot stress how important the relics are at this point. Um Okay, so it's purely, what's that, the, what's that, what's this called, uh, Wilder, yes, Wilder, so I need Maulers, you are either brave which or is just stupid to face me. like that, um, I guess this is fine, I guess this is fine, this can work, this can work, spammy, 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 Spam, spam, spam. <laughs> Alright, by the way, um, now that we are at the end of the labyrinth, this is the third floor, this is the final boss. Uh, there's really no reason why you do not want to auto. <laughs> you can just press the auto button. Let's go, let's go. I will be so bummed if I. Get my ass wrecked here. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass wrecked. Oh, the Tassi, right? The Tassi is like reducing my DPS like crazy. Okay, GG. <laughs> I do not know whether I can make this. I mean, I'm obviously gonna lose this round, but. Oh, this is nuts. Um, but. I don't think I have any other backup characters that could actually do anything to be honest uh, this is bad really really bad I mean this is all I have oh man this is hard um, and two of my characters do not have energy bars as well Hmm. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. I think I should have used my Arden in my first team, so that I build up my CC. So because of that, uh, yeah, that's why I lose, and I am not able to clear third floor of the labyrinth. Now I'm thinking of like what else I could have done wrong. I mean, what what else I could have done right? Ah, oh, such a bummer! I'm all the way at the end as well. I think like, yeah, I, I missed out on like 200. Oh, this is so painful, guys. It's so painful. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so anyway, oh wait, I have Duras tears. Ah, I totally forgot about this. Okay, never mind. Yeah, do not forget that you have Duras tears. Uh, okay, I, I really don't think I can do this anymore, so, yeah, this has been Labyrinth Floor 3 RIP, uh, nah, I'm just kidding, it's, it's like a Labyrinth Guide, but, you know what, I'm really surprised that I, I didn't beat it this time around, uh, I'll probably try it again, I don't think there is a reset button anywhere, so this is really, I have to just face this, this result screen for for like the next two days uh, I hope it has been useful to you I mean 
there may have been something that I could have done better, I think, like some of the relic choices. But I think I, I did as well as I could. I mean, I have all my defenses up, I have my crits, I have like life leech. I have a lot of things actually. Um, yeah, so. Not sure, maybe it was done to RNG, or maybe I. Probably, I guess I should have like timed my skills for the last fight as well. Oh well, we'll see. Okay, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.